Hello, my lovelies. Uh, so when last we spoke, I had intended to do um, a side quest called Soldier's Peak in order to get some storage. Um, it turns out there's a little cutscene that happens right as I leave the camp. So um, I am actually going to go ahead and do a different side quest and get a, a companion named Shale. Um, that, 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 that companion quest is actually also downloadable content. Um, it's also extra content, but since it's a companion, I'm going to include it because I feel like the companions are part of the main quest, even though she's extra. So um, we're going to go ahead and see that cutscene and then go get us a companion. It is begun. I'm going to bring my yes. boy, Alistair. Indeed. And I think I actually am going to bring Morgan just because Indeed. she adds a little something acerbic to the conversation. So let's go. I bring word, sire. There are demands from the Banorn that you step down from the Regency. They are said to be gathering their forces, as are your allies. It appears it will be civil war after all, despite the Darkspawn. Pity. I also have an interesting report. There seem to be Grey Wardens who survived Ostagar. How, I don't know. But they will act against you. I have arranged for a, a solution, with your leave. The Antivan Crows send their regards. An assassin? Against Grey Wardens, we will need the very best. <laughs> <laughs> and the most expensive. Just get it done. All right, so that was Arl Howe, uh, in case you were wondering, Tim Curry, you should be able to recognize from his voice, um, and introducing an assassin who's gonna try to kill me. I wonder if he'll be successful, har har. All right, so uh, here we go. <laughs> this is gonna be, uh, this is gonna be a fight. Let's see what, how it goes. Ah, a fellow traveler of the Fair Lands. Are you a seeker, perchance? My packs are light, but I have a tome. Of strange origin. A Deus V Eternus, rumored to be the last message to a sinful world from the Maker himself. All right, so for reference here, when I was in the tower, um, I picked up a whole bunch of these Deus V Eternus um, notes <laughs> that various apprentices had bought. Uh, so clearly, this guy is a charlatan. Um, not so strange, I have five copies. Ah. Will the wonders of this all too small a land never cease? Well, they will for you. Get them! Yeah. As I said, fight forthcoming. I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna actually have my bro here do a taunt. Make sure the threat goes to him. Yes! Uh, uh, <sighs> Oh, I got frozen. There's a mage back there. Curse you, mage. And I can kill him with something on my, uh, on my on Isabel. Isabel's got the perfect thing to kill a mage, but Morgan, unfortunately, doesn't have the skill I want, so she'll just have to fight the others instead. Gloria! <laughs> If I can't kill that mage, I'm sort of really screwed. Uh, 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 heal him up, heal him uh, up. Uh, okay. Luckily, I do have a... Yes, I just got revive as one of my skills. Otherwise, Alistair would stay kind of dead, which is not what I want to happen. Send me. Come and get it. But I want to run away because Mage's skills are just too powerful if I don't get him with my. Nova, 
one kill. Ah, that wasn't a one kill. All right, I also need to make Alistair take this. Okay, so I was going to talk about this before, but when you fall in battle like that, you end up with a, a wound that doesn't just go away with the heal potion. Like, for example, Alistair here has a cracked skull. Um, but I've got an injury kit that he can take that will take away the crack skull. So giving him that, and then I'm going to go after that mage. Yeah. It shall be done. Wipe them out. Those are excellent. There we go. Almost died, but managed to survive it. As you say. I shall do it. Oh, right. And I said I was going to do that quest to get um, more uh, inventory. <laughs> Basically, a place to store my stuff. But I figured, um, partly because I wanted you to see that cutscene with Arl Howe and Loghain um, and my, uh, my forthcoming assassin, um, who's going to come to try to kill me. Um, but I also looked at my inventory since I bought some, I bought some inventory space in here. Um, so that it's no longer quite so full even though I'm carrying a lot of stuff. So it shouldn't be too bad. I should be able to do this one more mission. And then I can do that Soldier's Peak on a different... Uh, Soldier's Peak outside of the game. so the, Outside of the video so you don't have to watch it. Not that I would want you to miss anything, but this is a pretty long game and if I don't cut out some stuff then it's really going to take years. As you say... <laughs> Since I'm always only putting these out to a week at this point, unless I have changed it by this point. I have a lot of stuff, at, like, I've, uh, <laughs> what's the word I'm looking for? I, I have some stock ahead of time for what I'm releasing, because I don't want to release them too quickly for people who are just not going to have time to watch all that. Um, so by now I'm like 20 episodes ahead of what I've released online. Um, so if you have any, like, suggestions you're probably not going to see them put into effect until 20 episodes after you say it, so my bad. Uh, you'll have to forgive me if I seem a bit nervous. Not many people traveling in this part of Ferelden. Of course, that's part of my problem, isn't it? Mule got spooked by a wisp and ran off into the woods. Now what do I do? Uh, I also just want to point out that the voice actor who does Cullen is also doing this voice, and I've mentioned before he does a lot of voices, but um, yeah, they use this guy a lot. Are you asking me to find your mule? Oh, no, no, no. I sent the elf to do that. I wouldn't dream of asking a stranger to do it. Allow me to introduce myself. Felix de Grosbois, merchant and entrepreneur at your service. I am Isobel. Pleased to meet you. I don't normally take this route, but with the war, I was hoping for a bit of luck and good weather in the mountains. Sadly, I've had neither. Ugh, this trip has been one miserable disaster after another. I don't suppose you consider helping a fellow out? What do you need? Of all the other things that went wrong, the worst is this artifact I brought in Jada. It's a control rod, I'm told, for a golem. No point in me keeping it, however, as I'll never get to use it. But, uh, maybe you could? How much do you want for it? Nothing. I just don't want to have to lug around something that might be taken for a gemstone by some bandit. To be honest, I don't even know if it'll be useful to you. I've paid too much to simply throw it away. What does a control rod do? The dwarf I brought it from said it activates and controls a golem. So long as you have it in your hand, the golem does what you say. Might be useful, no? I mean, you look like the sort who could use one, yes? What's the catch? The catch? Uh, yeah, I uh, suppose it is a catch, isn't it? The catch is that the golem didn't come with the rod. <laughs> it's supposed to be down in a village down south, waiting to be activated. Even if I could get down there, which I can't, <laughs> I understand the place has been overrun by Darkspawn. That's not such an issue for adventurous types like yourself, surely? Or I'm hoping that's so, at least. How do I know this will even work? The fellow I brought it from is a long-standing contact. He didn't want to come to Ferelden, however, with all our... troubles. <laughs> he said he got it from the man who owned this golem. But, to be honest, I have no idea if it will work. Hence, 
the low, low price. <laughs> what do you say? Yeah, I think I could use it. Just as well. As I mentioned before, you'll find the golem down south, in a town called Honleith. I'll mark it here on your map. Just hold up the rod and say Dulafgar. That will wake the golem up, so I'm told. I hope it works. A personal golem, eh? Sounds good. Best of luck to you then. Now, I guess it's up to me to find that mule myself. All right, time to find me a golem. Oh, my, ass my assassin strikes already. Moving right along here. Oh, thank the maker. We need help. They attacked the wagon. Please help us. Follow me. I'll take you to them. Okay, so <laughs> you're going to see one of my quirks in this fight in that I really want every trap to be disabled um, only because, it get, again, it gets me XP. So I'm going to be um, controlling Liliana this entire fight and all she's going to be doing is running around uh, springing traps. And the reason I have to do it during the fight is that as soon as the fight is over, those traps are just going to disappear because of the nature of this fight. Don't ask me why, but uh, here we go. Warden dies here. Ah! As if, dude. Okay. So first things first. If there's a mage here, and I think there is, I'm gonna send her on her way. With that, I need to send good old, good old Alistair over to this guy. We're gonna send Morrigan to attack that lady. And then we're gonna send Leels to find the traps. Come on, Leels. Enemy well. approaching. Trap right ahead. Trap right ahead. Trap right ahead. Trap right ahead. Ah. Dang it. <sighs> Me and my clumsy self. Trap right ahead. Uh, right ahead. Oh, this uh, should be good. Uh, uh, Stop your drooling and show uh, me your dignity, fool. I'll do it. Cross me and you shall pay. Mm -hmm. uh, Don't give them the advantage. This might be all the traps. Oh, one more, one more. Uh, right ahead. Ha <laughs> ha, I didn't get it. The elven assassin is wounded and unconscious, but alive. You could tie him up and talk to him if you wished. What, I can wake him up and talk to him, or I can kill him now. I'm not going to kill him now. Y you should know by now. I don't just kill people if I can help it. So, wake him up and talk to him. Mm. Oh, what? I... Oh. Oh. I rather thought I would wake up dead, or not wake up at all, as the case may be. But I see you haven't killed me yet. I have some questions. Ah, so I'm to be interrogated. Let me save you some time. My name is Zevran. Zev to my friends. I am a member of the Antivan Crows, brought here for the sole purpose of slaying any surviving Grey Wardens, which I have failed at, sadly. I'm rather happy that you failed. So would I be in your shoes. For me, however, it sets a rather poor precedent, doesn't it? Getting captured by a target seems a tad detrimental to one's budding assassin career. Too bad for you, then. Yes, it's true. Too bad for me. Who hired you to kill us? A rather taciturn fellow in the capital. Logan, I think his name was. 
Yes, that's it. When were you to see him next? I wasn't. If I had succeeded, I would have returned home and the Crows would have informed your Loghain of the results, if he didn't already know. If I had failed, I would be dead, or I should be, at least, as far as the Crows are concerned. No need to see Loghain, then. If you had failed? What can I say, huh? I am an eternal optimist. Although the chances of succeeding at this point seem a bit slim, don't they? <laughs> No, I don't suppose you'd find that funny, would you? <laughs> How much were you paid? I wasn't paid anything. The crows, however, were paid quite handsomely, or so I understand. Which does make me about as poor as a chantry mouse, come to think of it. Being an Antivan crow isn't for the ambitious, to be perfectly honest. Does that mean that you're loyal to Logan? I have no idea what his issues are with you. The usual, I imagine. You threaten his power, yes? Beyond that, no, I am not loyal to him. I was contracted to perform a service. And now that you've failed that service? Oh, well, that's between Loghain and the Crows, and between the Crows and myself. Why are you telling me all this? <laughs> Why not? I wasn't paid for silence. Not that I offered it for sale, precisely. Aren't you at least loyal to your employers? Loyalty is an interesting concept. If you wish, and you're done interrogating me, we can discuss it further. I'm listening. Make it quick. Well, here's the thing. I failed to kill you, so my life is forfeit. That's how it works. If you don't kill me, the crows will. Thing is, I like living. And you obviously are the sort to give the crows pause. So let me serve you instead. Can I expect the same amount of loyalty from you? I happen to be a very loyal person. Up until the point where someone expects me to die for failing. That's not a fault, really, is it? I mean, unless you're the sort who would do the same thing. In which case, I don't come very well recommended, I suppose. And what's to stop you from finishing the job later? To be completely honest, I was never given much of a choice regarding joining the Crows. They bought me on the slave market when I was a child. I think I paid my worth back to them plus tenfold. The only way out, however, is to sign up with someone they can't touch. Even if I did kill you now, they might just kill me on principle for failing the first time. Honestly, I'd rather take my chances with you. Why would I want your service? Why? Because I am skilled at many things, from fighting to stealth and picking locks. I could also warn you should the Antivan Crows attempt something more sophisticated now that my attempts have failed. I could also stand around and look pretty if you prefer. Warm your bed. Fend off unwanted suitors, no? No. <laughs> I like a woman who knows exactly what she wants. I really do. So what shall it be? I'll even shine armor. You won't find a better deal, I promise. What do you want in return? Well. Let's see. Being allowed to live would be nice, and would make me marginally more useful to you. And somewhere down the line, if you should decide that you no longer have need of me, then I go on my way. Until then, I'm yours. Is that fair? You must think I'm royally stupid. I think you're royally tough to kill, and utterly gorgeous. Not that I think <sighs> you'll respond to simple flattery, but there are worse things in life than serving the whims of a deadly sex goddess. <sighs> Very well, I accept your offer. What? You're taking the assassin with us now? Does that really seem like a good idea? Don't worry about it. We could use him. Hmm. All right. All right. I see your point. Still, if there was a sign we were desperate, I think it just knocked on the door and said hello. A fine plan. But I would examine your food and drink far more closely from now on, were I you. That's excellent advice for anyone. <laughs> Welcome, Zivran. Having an Antivan crow join us sounds like a fine plan. Oh, you are another companion to be, then? I wasn't aware such loveliness existed amongst adventurers, surely. Or maybe not. <laughs> I hereby pledge my oath of loyalty to you until such a time as you choose to release me from it. I am your man, without reservation. This I swear.
yeah, we're not taking him along right now. <laughs> he can stay at the camp. <laughs> so I wasn't expecting to get Zevran so soon. Um, but I am going to go ahead and uh, stop the video now because we're at 20 minutes. We're, we're way over. Um, but next time, Shale. <laughs>